I just want to show you some of my sugar plates. They're all dried and they look beautiful. This is one of them. And they came out great. They're nice and hard. There was no bowing or anything like that. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is one that I decided to have it run off on the corner and run off a little bit about around the sides. This one is one of my favorite. And it's amazing how it just works every time. These are just gorgeous. You would never know they're sugar plates. And I do use them for lunches. <laughs> so, but now they feel like like a, a like a leather. I can't describe the feeling. It's because it's plastic. Whether you could eat on them, I wouldn't, but you put a little sticker label on the back, a hook, and it'd be hung right up. They're just gorgeous. So today I'm gonna to try and do at least four of them. All right, let's try another one, shall we? I mean, with these here, there's four here in this pile, if you can. There's two more here, and here's another one. So, off we go. Off we go to the wild blue yonder. Can you see? Yes, you can. Let me go this way a little bit. All right. Still have a little shadow. I don't like that shadow, but I can't really help you. That's a gut. All right, let me put my base coat down. And since I'm going to run it off, not around the whole thing, but just some of it, I like to have the actual color show through. I'm going to get some red over here. These I used yesterday, and I really didn't get any cells either because I've I've been messing with the, the recipe. So we'll see what this one has to show. And I think I'm going to do red first. I've already got some on there. Can you imagine? Good thing I'm running it off. I'd be awfully upset right now. Okay. And then yellow. Which will give me some beautiful orange colors and then I'm gonna do the manganese I love, oh, maybe the turquoise turquoise on top of yellow that was a beautiful color green if you noticed all right then the uh, phyllo or manganese I don't know I have to go look at my magazine my manganese container but it's one of my favorite colors so we shall see all right double yellow and Mix this up a little. Put my black down. Okay, let's set a bit. I'm gonna make sure it gets over in this one corner, so let me just go like that. Okay, now it's situated. Okay, All right. I found the other day, if you let it sit a little bit, you get a better result instead of just, boom, jumping into it, you know? So, of course, I think it's sat long enough, so let's see. All right, let's load her on. And turn it. Look at that. There you go. Lots of cells. Yay. All right. Let me get my little thing situated. All right. I'm going to let it just sit a second here. Even though I don't have to because they all will spin out on top. Okay, I'm going to get this part here first. Okay, then back this way. And then go down this way. Ooh. 
Okay. Then I'll go to this corner. I like the plate to show through on the corners or on the sides. I don't like to have it all paint. I just prefer that. Okay. Now I'm going to pour some of this deep color off that way. And then bring it back this way to get more deep color over here. I kind of like how that just looked. Wow. And I'll go down this way. but not least this corner it's definitely going to spread like that I can't help it because these plates are very 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 slippery I like just the accent of color That's what I do with all my other ones. Get a little accent. Just comes out so pretty. Like you can't see what I'm doing because I've got the I gotta have it get over there. Let me go back this way a little bit. Okay. Now I'm debating whether to leave this here or not. I don't think I will. Might as well just cover it all. I'll just use my hand. In here. And now I'm thinking all of it's going to be covered. I think that that might or might not be covered. I do like that. Okay, then over here, this side here. Just take what you dip, dripped off, and that covers it. Okay, this is beautiful. It's simplistic. Okay, you see? You don't have to have cells every time, which by the way, for these plates, you don't really need cells. Okay, all right, so let me put it over in my drying station over here, let it dry. It looks gorgeous, by the way. Alrighty. And let's do the second one. You know, I could do these all day. It's quiet in here, man. I'll tell you, it's so quiet. My husband's in the living room. I don't know what he's doing. Mm. All right. Let me push you. Number three, or number two, look what I just did. I'm making my mess up already. A little more so I can really get it to roll all over. Now I think I'm gonna do also what I, what I did yesterday, which comes out so cool. Okay, first I'm gonna start with this one. Go like that. There's no rhyme or reason to it. You just do it. I like the pan me over here, ready. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to put some bread. No rhyme or reason. The whole idea of this is to... This relaxes me, and it should relax you. It's a little bit of therapy. You know, everybody needs it. It's something that can do just about anything for you. It's very relaxing, it's very addicting. So if you've never done this before, you will realize how addicting it is. It's like, oh my God, it's so crazy. All right, now I'll get some green in there. So I'm gonna go on top of some of these. And get some red. Now, you take a stick and you just swish it around. Isn't that cool? Reminds me back when I was a kid. You played with your paints. All right. Then you can ask, add some more on top of it. If you want more of the red to come through, and more red. It's going to be a lot of it's going to be you know coming off. So. Some more yellow. There we go. This should give some sort of depth to it. Where you have colors underneath and the colors on top. And by the way, these are silicone spoons. They clean up like as if I was never used them. Matter of fact, all those I just showed you this morning. Or ones I used before. You saw how great they turned out. Okay, now let's do it just slightly this time. So you have a little bit of. Okay, now the fun part. Let's strip it off. I'm going to start first that way, then let it go that way. And this is going to be such a fun plate. And it might even match my other one. Let's be cool. All right, let's go back this way. And get that one. Gotta get that. Okay, and the last one, but not least. Well, Aren't these sugar plates fabulous? I know they are. I know you're loving them. I fell in love with these so much. It was like, whoa. You know? And they dry absolutely perfectly. And that's what I like about them. They're different, you know? They can look like china. If I feel like doing some kind of varnish on these, I'm thinking I might be able to. I'm really not sure about it, because they are made out of sugar. <laughs> sugar plates, which by the way are hard. They're not soft. I don't know about y'all, but I just love this. Look at that. Isn't that great? Wow. All right, put this over to dry. Okay, now, last but not least, you know what, I think I'm going to do the same thing again on that, on this one, because it's, it came out so cool. Alrighty, plenty of my interior paint, which comes out like leather, it comes out like leather, I'm telling you, it's great. I have plenty of paint in that day. Okay, so let's start with the light blue and go all around here. Okay. 
this is like a like a major abstract. <laughs> and I'm not I'm really not an abstract artist. I am a fine artist. I've sold plenty of regular paintings. And uh, I just recently won a contest for a bridge. A bridge, uh, a brand new bridge that opened up. And they asked for artists to send their art, come up with a design for, they, use, they have these electrical boxes that's all around town. And um, I kind of like these colors by themselves. What do you think, guys? I think so. Let me add some more. I think I have to put yellow, though. Well, maybe not. You know what? Maybe I'm just going to leave them like that and I'll put the, some black in here. Let's see. the stick. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go this side first. And then this side, back to the center, then go this side, and then back here. This corner, ooh, and this corner. In this corner, and that corner. Do you see what I'm doing here? I'm trying to keep some of the colors with the painting. All right, let me go back this way and get that edge again. I think I'll go back over here and get this edge too. I should have just gone all the way when I did it, but I didn't. Oh, but I like how the black is turning gray now. Oh, so cool. Am I ready? This color over here, come on, get it. Uh, that's coming out almost white, huh? So you know what that means. Let me add some more paint. Because now that my edges are done. And my corners, I don't have to worry about doing, getting them again. All right, let's do that. Let's see how I love doing this stuff. And let's just go like this. Yep, it's just like anything goes, guys. Absolutely anything goes. Mm. If I wanted to, I could keep these just as it is, but 
doesn't give me any style. And that's all I'm putting. Now, let's see if I can... Hey, you know what? Let me try this again. I'm going to put the black. Whoopsie. <laughs> I'll have to wash that off. Okay, now let me get some dripping somewhere. I'll go this way. All right, a little bit more here. Get more color on this joint, you know. Okay, the one little area here. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. And when you put these on the wall, they come out so adorable. I haven't done them yet because I'd have to get a wall to do it on. I don't have an extra wall anywhere at the moment. We're in the middle of setting up a craft area. And we're talking major craft area. Okay. It's almost done for dripping, so we'll call it a day here. Okay, now when these dry, I will post them, and I'll show them on the ne next uh, video when, when I do it, okay? Alrighty, see up close? I'll take you down and look at everything, so let me just get this over here. First one we did. Now there's a little shadow because this is on the shelf, which I'll show you that too. The second one came out wonderful. Oh my god! And this one with all the blues is just beautiful. Now let me show you this one here. I'm gonna take it down without. Oh, here we go. This one I did yesterday, and it's almost completely dried. And what's nice about it is you don't get any cracking with this recipe. None at all. All right, I'll put this back up here. Now let me get this over here. This is almost dry too. This is almost like that one. You see? I'm gonna show you close-ups. It's no cracking. It's just pure leather bit basically it just looks like leather feels like leather but it's not leather so it's pretty cool let's put that right there for time being my other paintings that are that's my big cell these back there are so cool they're really cool looking and uh and of course, I have a big one. Then there's that one over here. And then I have this one here. And this one here. And uh, a bunch down there. These are all my, you know, 
That one's still on glass. That's a little trick I did. It's a trick nobody can do unless you figure it out. I doubt it though. This one here's my water one. Let me show you that. Like a reach. Nice. This is. Oh, where's my camera? Here we go. And it's just like water. I fell in love with this one I did. I was like, oh my god, it was so exciting. This is with regular pouring. Not these chemicals that I'm using. Oh, that's one of my flowers I did also. So, I have a whole house full of my paint, my art, and uh, a lot that I've sold, so thank God. So, if anybody's interested in anything, just let me know. Just message me. And, uh, okay, well, my little station, I, I went down a little bit on it. I used to be have an eight foot one, but that's gonna go in the craft area. This could go also go in the craft area, which we can hang things on. So these are all my bottles and stuff. Some of my paints. So my floor is a mess, I gotta clean it. My dad my chair, forget it. <laughs> so alright guys, thank you for watching and uh, I'll catch you another time. Hopefully maybe later on. Okay, bye bye.